Imagine if you could log into your Mac with your Ultra ID credentials. Well, now you can. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Platform SSO on Mac OS shared devices with Ultra ID and Intune. If you're new to managing Mac devices with Intune, you can check out our end-to-end -end guide for getting started at aka.ms slash Intune for Mac docs. This video is divided into four sections. What is Platform SSO and how does it work? How to deploy the required configuration using Intune, a demonstration of the user experience we just configured, and finally, what you should do next. Let's get started with what Platform SSO is. Platform SSO is a framework built by Apple into the macOS operating system. It's considered a replacement for the feature that allows macOS to be bound to a directory like Active Directory. Platform SSO allows an identity provider to store tokens in the user's keychain. The SSO tokens are only accessible by the SSO extension, but can be used by apps and browsers on the operating system that use the SSO extension. From a user perspective, this creates a single sign-on experience, and with Antra ID, we call this Antra Join. Platform SSO can be configured in three different ways. Secure Enclave, Smart Card, and Password. Secure Enclave is most easily thought of as being similar to Windows Hello for Business. Using Secure Enclave, the hardware-bound key is unlocked using a local password or PIN and is used to authenticate to Antra ID. Users can optionally also configure Touch ID to use biometrics after the Mac is initially unlocked using the password or PIN. Smart Card is useful for organizations that have invested in Smart Card technology. And Password Sync does exactly as it sounds. It synchronizes the password with the local Mac account. Where possible, and especially for one-to-one -one devices, Microsoft recommends using Secure Enclave or Smart Card as the authentication methods because they are phishing resistant. Platform SSO can be used in a single user mode or enabled for multi-user devices where users can log in from the Mac login screen. In this video, we're going to focus on the multi-user device scenario using password sync, but the steps are very similar for single user mode and other authentication methods. Platform SSO for multi-user scenarios requires macOS 14 or higher. We also need to deploy and install the company portal app, send down the platform SSO configuration via MDM, and configure the Mac login screen to allow new users to log in. Now I'll show you how we can use Intune to configure platform SSO. First, we'll create the device configuration based off aka.ms slash Intune Platform SSO Docs. Let's switch across to the Intune Admin Center. I'm going to go into Device, Device Configuration, and then select Create. Then select New Policy. Under Platform, I'm going to select Mac OS, and under Profile Type, I'm going to select Settings Catalog, and then select Create. I'm going to name my profile Mac OS Platform SSO, and then select Next. On the Configuration Settings screen, select Add Settings, in the settings list, select all settings listed in the Intune Platform SSO documentation and in addition, because we're doing the multi-user device scenario, select Enable Create User at Login and New User Authorization Mode. Once you've selected all the settings we need, close the settings picker. Now we can configure the URLs and settings as per the Intune Platform SSO documentation. I'm going to set Enable Create User at Login to Enabled and New User Authorization Mode to Standard User so that each user created from the login screen is created with standard user rights. Once everything is set up, select Next to continue. If you need to configure scope tags, set them up now and then select Next. For testing, you'll probably want to target the policy at a small group of devices or users, but in my tenant, I'm going to target my settings at all devices. If you want to target these settings as quickly as possible during enrollment, avoid dynamic groups, use static groups or the old devices virtual group with a filter. Review the summary screen and then select create. Now we need to deploy the company portal app. You can find the details for this at aka.ms slash add Mac company portal. To start with, download the company portal PKG from aka.ms slash enroll my Mac. Back in the Intune Admin Center, select Apps, then All Apps. Select Add and scroll down to Line of Business App. Click Select and then select the Select App Package File link. Navigate to the Company Portal PKG file that you downloaded earlier. 
change the publisher to Microsoft and update the name of the app as required, then select Next. Assign the app to your test group or all devices like me. Then click Create. The app will continue to upload in the background and then deploy to your Mac devices. In the meantime, let's check out our final configuration for our multi-user devices, which will configure the Mac to allow login with username and password on the login screen. Back in the Intune Admin Center under Device Configuration, select Create and then New Policy. Under Platform, select Mac OS and under Profile Type, select Settings Catalog. Then select Create. I'm going to name my profile Mac OS Login Screen Configuration and then select Next. On the Configuration Settings screen, select Add Settings and then in the Settings Picker, expand Login and then click on Login Window Behavior. Scroll down and select Show Full Name, which enables the entry of username and password, and then optionally select Login Window Text. Close the Settings Picker. Now toggle Show Full Name to Enabled, and then optionally configure the text you want to appear on the login screen, like Login with your email address. Once everything is set up, select Next to continue. If you need to configure scope tags, set them up now, and then select Next. Target your group or select all devices, then review the summary and create the policy. With that, we've done all the setup we need for this scenario in Intune. Let's check out the user experience. The user unboxes the device and begins the enrollment process. Because this is a multi-user device, the first user to set up the device is probably an administrator, local IT support, or maybe a teacher. This is the user that will join the Mac OS device to Antra ID. They'll associate themselves with this local administrator user that you create during enrollment, and then all subsequent users will have their own profile created when they log in. You may want to suggest as part of this process that the person who creates this account enters their username to be the same as their email address so that their experience of logging on later is the same as all of the other subsequent users of the device. Once they get to the desktop, they are prompted to register their device. They enter their local account credentials to start the process and then use their work or school credentials to register their device. Once complete, the user is asked to enter their Entra ID credentials again to start password sync. From now on, the user's password will remain synchronized with Entra ID. With our multi-user device configuration, this user can log off and any other Entra ID user can log in from the Mac login screen. To get started on your Mac and Intune journey, Check out our getting started guide at aka.ms slash Intune for Mac Docs. Test and configure Platform SSO at aka.ms slash Intune Platform SSO and start enrolling your Macs today. Thank you.